Welcome to the Ape tutorial video series number eight. This video will demonstrate the Gibson designer tool and the recombination assembler tool. For the Gibson designer tool, we will be um, assembling the same two DNA sequences as in previous demonstrations, but this time designing it as a Gibson assembly reaction. The Gibson designer can be accessed either through the toolbar or through the tools menu under Gibson designer. So similar to the Golden Gate reaction, each of the input fragments is um, a single um, box within the um, first window of the tool and you can add individual fragments using plus and delete fragments that you didn't intend with the minus. In this case, we're going to use the same L44 destination, and we're going to use all but selected to um, replace this piece of the multiple cloning site with our incoming piece of DNA. We will design it um, as PCR with tails. You can also design it so that any particular fragment does not have um, Gibson 5 prime extension tails added on if you, for whatever reason, uh, need that particular fragment not to have additional bases added on within the reaction. Or you can design it um, as, a, um, as a restriction fragment that is um, included in the Gibson reaction, in which case you tell the tool to use no primers for that fragment. We will now add the um, insert fragment, which again is the EXBA TST fragment. And we will use again all of that DNA sequence. So now that we've chosen the fragments and how they're going to be incorporated into the Gibson reaction, we can select next. The tool then shows us each one of the Gibson junctions that's uh, going to be used in the Gibson reaction. So it shows the L4440 on the top and the EXBA PST1 on the bottom. You see the, um, the primer on this row. You see the second primer on this row and then the two templates and the junction in between them. You can name the two primers here and here you can set the um, melting temperature that you'd like for um, the forward and reverse. And you can see that it adjusts the length of the primers as you change these numbers. You can add additional sequence at the junction, for example, G, 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 and you see that that gets incorporated into this primer. If the two fragments already have some degree of overlap, you can choose to um, use that overlap or you can choose to ignore it within this drop down. Then you can set the overlap melting temperature and depending on what kind of reaction, if it's a Gibson or an infusion or other kinds of um, overlap based reaction, you can choose different melting temperatures. Then you can choose whether the um, additional tail will be on the forward primer or on the reverse primer. So by default, it's on the former forward primer, but you can also put it on um, the reverse primer, or you can um, add additional bases so that the um, overhangs are um, bi-directional. When you're satisfied with this junction, you can go to the next junction. You can um, similarly design that junction. And then once all of the um, junctions have been specified, you can either choose to finish or you can go back to um, fix up anything in the previous junctions. You can set the default primer melting temperature, the default overlap, and the um, exonuclease direction, if you are using um, 
if you're using any restriction fragments, this will um, tell what direction the exonuclease is acting within your reaction. Then when you are satisfied, you can click finish and it will generate the reaction product. And similarly to the Golden Gate, you um, get new primer features that have been added on to the feature um, table. And you can see that the PCR primer sequences have been included as qualifiers for those features. And similarly to the Golden Gate and restriction ligation tools, the um, comment field now adds that there was a Gibson reaction used to generate this sequence. The PCR product, the primers, product length, also very similar to the Golden Gate tool. And then finally, the um, primer, the oligo order section where you can order these oligos for use in the Golden, or in the Gibson assembly. So that's the, um, the Gibson designer tool. Then also from the same toolbar icon, if you press the shift, you can get to the recombination assembler tool. So this can do, um, can do BP and LR type reactions, but it can also do LOXP or um, FRT like reactions. Anything that involves site specific recombination can be um, performed in silico using the recombination reaction tool. Most of these are from the in vitro gen um, multi-site gateway reactions. So as a demonstration, I've loaded two um, plasmid sequences that can be used as input into a simple 1-2 BP reaction. So if I choose this recombination prototype, you can choose to treat all sequences as circular. Sometimes you may have them indicated as linear when they actually should be circular. And um, if, it, if you don't check this box, then you won't necessarily be able to generate a circular product, which is a requirement for generating the product with this um, prototype. But in this case, the sequences are circular. I don't have to click that box. Uh, the insert is from the sequence MLCP, and the backbone is from the sequence P donor. So it has detected the two possible um, sequences that can be used as input into the um, BP reaction. So I can click OK, and then it generates a new sequence that is the product of that gateway reaction. And again, you see in the comments section, there was a gateway reaction from with the insert from MLCP and the backbone from P donor 221. So that's the um, recombination assembler tool. And you, if you have additional recombination reactions that you would like to add, you can add custom recombination um, reactions using this tool. The um, specifics of how to do this are beyond the scope of this demonstration, but if you um, send me an email or um, just look at some of these other reactions as examples, you may be able to um, generate new custom reaction products if you have them. So that's the end of video eight, the Gibson designer and the recombination assembler tool.